Hi, welcome back to Pamela Sand Adventures. So today we're just coming down to work on the keel, uh, get rid of the old blade of painting, the old fiberglass, use the new needle gun that finally came in, so we can strip it down to the raw iron and be able to treat it, rust proof it, uh, do the first uh, base levels of it. Try to make this keel so it lasts another 46 years. So here you can see we're just ripping everything off the needle gun, uh, just getting all the old layers different fiberglass fillers anything that was on the keel I want to see exactly what I'm worth working with uh, I was reading basically that says every five years you're supposed to uh, service your iron keel and this one looked like it actually has been serviced quite a bit in its life well taken care of but then sitting on the hard for 10 years didn't help anything so it started getting rustier in there and I figured might as well just fix it get it right this first time instead of messing around that way we don't have any issues anywhere down the line. So yeah, it's slow going. Taking all this off takes a little bit, about five hours worth. So I skipped it ahead a little. A couple little progress spots. You can see all that rust though that's appearing there. Those are all the small traces that appeared on the surface. And obviously they were much deeper than we thought they were. Or a little bit wider I should say. They're not very deep into the metal. So the treatment will take good care of that. But this will keep problems from coming back in the future. And again, they're not sponsoring me, but Rust-Oleum, Rust Performer. I love it. And this is the primer I'm using that I forgot to put up last time. The Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer with uh, extra rust inhibitors. That way we can get everything so we don't have to keep coming back and doing this hopefully every five years. I'd like to make it so it go a 10 year interval. The less I can pull the boat, the better. Saves money, saves time. You know, no use in constantly having to do it. If you don't have to, if there's ways to fix it so it's right and doesn't have to be an issue in the future. So here you can see now it's all set up properly. Uh, that kind of rust treatment when you put on turns to a black color in the rusted areas, purple and uh, regular steel. And with all the black on there, you can see all the minute rust areas that were actually on that keel. So those are all areas in the future that would have been problems. And would have made it so that basically even though I retreated this with rust killers, it would just come back and still be more of an issue if I only used a rust primer instead of an actual, you know, rust converter so hopefully that'll help it last much longer very least i'll get five years out of it once it's totally sealed i'm hoping to get much longer out of it but it'll need periodically checked which means periodically pulling and periodically repairing small little check areas but that's the lovely part of owning a boat they're always work just like any house paint this you're going to notice that I don't just brush on I also dab and force all the paint into the small areas as well as the rust inhibitor that way anything that's just hanging around in there will either get cleaned out or it'll get treated it'll get painted it won't be a problem in the future for an air gap or any kind of area that you know will just be raw metal to be a problem in the future a little odd technique but it works good for the base layer Definitely don't want to do it for a top layer though. It will give a horrible finish. So yeah, like I said, I um, need a larger air compressor. Uh, the one I have doesn't give me enough work time with the needle gun at full force. Or I could have probably had at least half to three quarters of this side of the keel done in one day. But I wanted to cut it short. It was starting to get late. People wanted to come home, rest from work, and the neighbors don't want to take everybody off. So, you know, I just cut it a little bit short on this video. We got a third of it done. So, you know, if it takes us till October to Annapolis Boat Show, we're going to. 
Oh yeah, we'll get it done. So thanks for watching and have a good one.